I'm finally getting my car washed after I think two months of parking below my block it's very dirty like it really needs to be cleaned sadly there's no vacuuming to be done driving to pick up my new phone. My phone was due for recontracting so um, I'm now going to collect it. I'm actually doing collection and not deliveries because I'm having some issues with my SIM card. Um, it's been ongoing for like weeks now so yeah, Lamborghini just drive, drove past. So yes, I've been having some issues with my SIM card and I am going to see if they are okay to exchange the SIM card for me. Talk to you later! I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me
Okay, let's start. So yes, we are going to do an IKEA haul today. I'm glad they actually adapted to the whole situation because they never used to allow any online orders at all. If you want to have their stuff delivered to your place, you actually have to go to their physical store, purchase the item and then queue up to apply for a delivery to be done to your place. Uh, which is quite ineffective. You say IKEA, I say IKEA. Singaporeans say IKEA. Huh? See block back ah? Go IKEA lor. So this is the first box and I have another bigger box down there. Let me get a towel for this. Ugh. Yeah. Oh by the way, my mom was like watching the video that me and my brother were competing um against each other for the IQ test. And then it reached the part whereby I said this. Well, it did come out from the same vagina, so... Well, well. And then she said, Why you say vagina? So crude, like, girl. You say, say what? We come out from the same vagina. And then she continues watching until she reaches this part. Welcome to KNBCCB News. I'm your host and anchor for today, Vincent. Ha ha ha, what is this KNNCCB? Ah? KNNCCB stands for... I ordered all of these because my home doesn't really have a lot of homeware. You can bet your money that when I have my own place, I'll be spending a bomb on kitchenware, so... Like, don't you just love it? Like, everything is cohesive. I mean, it doesn't have to match match, okay? I'm not a psycho. First up, this is um, a plate, obviously. <laughs> Although this is just a normal plate, but do not underestimate it. When plating, a plain white plate can actually help you emphasize more on the food. So you take away um, any emphasis that is unnecessary that comes from the plate. It's not this big, but um, it's probably not a very accurate way of measuring because I have tiny, tiny, tiny boy hands. Short, stubby, and fat. Okay, yes. First item. Next. Oh, oh they included the new catalog. I'm excited about this. Our first cup. Look at how pretty it is. I bought this because I like the ridges. It's not a very typical design. Yeah, so I look forward to using this. Okay, again, very, very um, neutral looking kitchenware. These are actually, um, well, obviously you can tell it's a soup spoon, it's a ceramic soup spoon. Um, there's a certain weight to it. It feels good. This is actually a pack of six and I got it because For some reason we just don't have many soup spoons in this household There are four of us in this household and there's literally four soup spoons So if one is being used as a communal spoon and then someone has to use like I don't know a fork to drink soup or something Just changing the world bit by bit I like unboxing stuff, don't you? like opening a present. I can buy stuff for myself and still feel happy about it. I'm an independent woman spending my own money, my own hard-earned money. Oh and don't worry okay, these are all recycled materials. So if you're thinking to comment like, oh my god, such a waste, um, don't. use it for shoots, use it for my videos and if I'm ever 
you know, creating a drink, I would want to emphasize on the drink and not on the cup. So a clear cup like that with a little bit of character because it's not exactly your typical um, shaped cup. It actually has a slightly fatter bottom than usual, which is why I bought it. And it's really cheap. So I bought two of these. So I'm going to use this for my baking videos, which some of you really love. Thank you so much. When it comes to baking specifically, there is no room for you to aga aga. Everything has to be measured down to the single gram. So, yes! Okay. <laughs> this is the very typical IKEA dustbin that um, people have in their houses. This is not actually for me. My mom made me buy this because she thinks my sister needs a dustbin in her room. What do you call this? Cake? Cake slice sticking thing. It actually looks pretty good. The video doesn't actually do justice to it. It actually looks quite fancy in real life, so goodbye, goodbye. Right, you might be thinking, what the hell, you bought a chopping board? Yes, I bought a chopping board. If you have watched my cooking videos, you will know that currently the chopping board we have at home is this ugly green, which I'm totally not vibing with. Like, this I vibe with. It's white, it's clean, it's neutral. Another chopping board? Yes, another chopping board. So the reason why I got two is because personally, I think it's more hygienic um, to chop certain foods on this one and chop other foods on this one. I think it's reversible. So you have this side and then you have this side. Okay, what's different is that for this one, you actually have a little groove on the side. Oh. They didn't cut this very well. It feels quite prickly. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, as I was saying, um, you can use both sides. I mean, why not? Next box! Oh no! <laughs> it gives me another catalogue. <laughs> now I have two. By now, you should know that I like my stuff very simple and minimal <laughs> from the looks of all the previous items and this item as well. There's actually a blue rim along the side of the bowl. So again, this can be used for your side dishes or um, baking or just rice, bowl of rice, anything. It looks quite on the screen but it's actually it's actually grey in colour I thought it was white but it's okay I still like it uh, <laughs> I bought a knife from IKEA I was pretty fed up with the knives um, we have at home the knives at home like have existed since many many years ago and nobody gives a shit so we have been using a shitty knife for years now but yes i did think would a knife from ikea actually be good or will it suck so i looked through the internet and watched some videos on um reviews and they're actually pretty good eh? like i'm surprised okay let me try this now okay but first i need to open this Oh my god, seriously. Ooh, check out the shine. I look like a psychopath now. I actually remember how much this was. This was $29.90. I'm sorry, I, hold, I was doing this. I'm so sorry. Let's try it with the catalog. I mean, I have two, so... Let's see. Oh, that's quite good. <laughs> 
Damn, Ikea. I'm happy with that. But for now, let's keep it safe. Okay, next. These are the last few items. You might think I'm xiao, but then it's actually more bowls. <laughs> Yeah, it's just small bowls. Eh? Is this the same as this? Oh no. I accidentally bought one more, I think. So I now have three of these. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, so I got um, another one, which is a slight variation of the previous one that you saw. I love it. Okay lah, the rest are just glass bowls, okay guys? So, <laughs> don't expect too much from me. You can use this for your morning cereal, you can use this for um, a small salad, a small side dish for your dinner, or if you are hosting, you can use this for maybe um, dips, salsa, or sauces, or whatnot. It actually looks classy without trying too hard, so I like this. Very, very last item today. <laughs> it's another glass bowl. <laughs> it's another glass bowl, okay, but there's a little lip here. And having this lip over here just makes it easier for you to pour your ingredients um, in. If you're mixing your egg whites, or you're making Dalgona coffee or like uh, making meringue and whatnot, this is actually a very good bowl um, to go with your hand mixer because it's heavy. Using a normal bowl is that when you actually put the hand mixer in, it tends to shift around, okay? Um, but a heavy bowl like this will not shift around because it's heavy. So yes, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching my mini haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And you know it. Here are my three things I'm grateful for today. The first thing is that ever since the circuit breaker started in Singapore, my mom has been cooking if not buying for almost all three meals every day. So many mornings I wake up and there is food on the table which she actually woke up extra early to cook before she goes to work. I didn't tell her to cook or buy any of my meals for me because I'm a big girl, I can do it myself. But she does it anyway, so thank you, mommy. Second thing is that last night, this uh, channel actually surpassed its first 1,000 views. I know it's not much, but I still feel very happy about it. I feel very grateful about it. And I know that I have friends and family who um, are so supportive. When I put out my first video, none of my close friends judged me for it. In fact, they even um, pushed me on, they encouraged me, they gave me good and constructive feedback, uh, which is really what I need. Thank you, IKEA, for finally opening up um, sales online. Actually, there were quite a few items that were out of stock and like I said, the delivery was so quick. On the website, it says minimum two days and they did it in two days. Well, less than two days actually. So I'm very impressed with that. Okay, before this video gets too long, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is me spreading love and good vibes to you. Take it, just take it. As always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. I have two baking videos coming. I have two. Probably have to wash my mouth after this. Bye.